I'm the first to admit it. I'm an innocent. I'm like a New York City hick. Uh, you know, I get this email from uh, Vincent, uh, and when I saw the word salon, you know, it just confused me because, you know, when I was growing up, uh, you know, I would go get my hair cut at a butcher, but my mother and my aunts would go to New York to a salon. So I figured, you know, maybe they have something new in Upper Westchester where you know, men meet. It's sort of like, a, you know, a manicurist or a pedicurist or something like that. And you, you sit in the line and your hair done simultaneously and you talk to your friends while you're doing it. And, uh, you know, and, and I've always known that uh, Vincent was like the founder of the uh, Breakfast Club in New York. And he's taken... He's taken that that show on the road, and uh, Donald had this wonderful, uh, you know, group of us getting together, and uh, we would read our pieces. And uh, you know, I I thought it was you know a little odd, of course. You know, I was like, when you discuss anything, you, you're getting your hair shampooed and you talk, you know, maybe you're talking issues. I don't know, uh, but but then I I sort of read on in this email, and it started making sense. Maybe this wasn't. Uh, a hairdressing salon. Maybe there are other kinds of salons. So I, I looked it up in uh, Google, and uh, you know, I learned that uh, you know, a salon is like serious business. Its purpose is to educate and entertain. It has a history to it. It goes back to the court of Louis the Fourteenth, and has had such illuminaries as Madame de Rambouillet, Madame de Lafayette. Catherine de Scudery, Madame de Savonnier, Madame de Stahl. Imagine me with my big clumsy feet trying to follow in their dainty footsteps. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I'll give it 110%. I want to now thank Vincent for inviting me and Anna and Bernie for being such gracious hosts.